Hey guys, get a level here. Spooky this, spooky that. Today I'm gonna show you how to get this animated tip jar for your live streams. Okay, so this is what the original actually looks like. So it's a gray cauldron with some green bubbles coming out of it. Okay, so the whole thing is transparent. Here you can see I have set it up to fit my stream. So I added a couple of color filters to make it red. I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Okay, so here's the animation when it's activated. So of course it's not gonna look perfect here, but it's meant to be actually pretty small on your screen so people will not see the details. My goal was to create an animated bit jar because not a lot of people are doing this. I wanted it to be Halloween themed, of course, and I wanted it to be kind of customizable when it comes to the colors. And I don't know if you've seen the tutorials on how to make uh, custom bit jars, there's a ton of code required. This does not require coding at all. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. So first of all, I'm gonna remove this scene altogether. I really love working with a separate scene just because it's easier for me later on to place stuff. So let's create new scene. We're gonna call it the jar. Just call it jar. On my new scene, I'm going to start by adding a jar. Now, in order for this to work, there is a specific jar that I found that matches the cauldron pretty well. So we're gonna go to the right here. We're gonna click the jar and you're gonna add source. And uh, here is the exact jar that works best. It's that little um, whiskey glass, I think. Feel free to correct me in the comments if it's not a whiskey glass. So something that I like to do is bump up the height so that the elements have a long way to go down before they fall into it. So here I'm gonna go with 1000 pixels high and 600 wide. Of course, depending on your preferences, you can customize it yourself. Those are the basics. So here I have my cup. So now I need to bring in the jar. So in the description, there's gonna be a link to download the jar and I'll explain more on that a little bit later. So I'm gonna add a media source because technically it's just a video with a transparent background. I'm gonna add a new source, call this one cauldron and locate it. So in the files, you're actually going to find two different files. There's cauldron exp, which is a .mov file and cauldron webm which is a .webm file. So in case one of those formats is not working for you, you can always choose the other one. The difference between those two files is the compression. Here you're gonna have a 80 uh, megabytes file and here you're gonna have a one megabyte file. So depending on your computer and all of that, you decide. And here we imported the cauldron. So first thing I'm gonna do before I click done is loop it, okay? Make sure it goes on forever. Okay, and then I'm gonna size it down because it's quite big. I did go a little overboard and I'm just gonna try to place it in order for it to match here. So I'm gonna drag the corners and remember that I can, that I can also just pick this right there and also drag it and place it perfectly. So the goal here is to have those um, sides completely fill the cauldron. We're almost there. And you can use the arrows on your keyboard to make it match perfectly. Pixel by pixel, you can move it. That looks pretty good to me. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, there's a huge part of the glass that is showing. What, what you need to do is with the glass selected, hold Alt on your keyboard, drag it up at the bottom of the cauldron here, and then boom, there you have it. Just to make sure that you can move it together, uh, we're gonna hold Control on the keyboard, select both of them, click on the folder thing right here, and just name your folder. Okay, so now when you select this, it's gonna select both of them and now we can move both of them together. So I'm gonna show you how you can play with the colors before I place it uh, in its final place basically. So you're gonna select the cauldron itself. You're gonna right click and go to filters. I'm gonna go to filters. We're gonna add a color correction filter. And here's the deal. If you just want to change the colors of the bubbles, all you have to do is play around with the hue shift. Make them orange. I can make them blue. I can make them purple. I can make them pink. And I can make them red. All right. You can also bump up the saturation if you want the colors to show up a little bit more like that. Now we have pure red bubbles, right? And that doesn't really affect the actual cauldron because it's black and white, basically, with shades of gray. Uh, of gray. <laughs> now, let's say that you don't want a black and white cauldron. What you can do is go here under color, set the hue to whatever color your color scheme uh, follows. 
In my case, it's red, so we're gonna keep it on red. And we're not gonna go to full red. We're gonna incrementally add some red until we're satisfied with the result, okay? And there you go. Now, if you want the colors to be different, you can add a little bit of color here and still play with the hue. As you can see, the cold run is red, but the bubbles are still changing color, right? Still bump up the saturation. So basically play around with all of this until you have a cauldron that looks like something you want on your stream. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the saturation so that the red affects the whole thing. And then, of course, you can play with the gamma, the contrast to make it darker, brighter. I like bumping the brightness a little bit so it's more visible, but that's up to you to decide. Now that you're done coloring it, what you need to do is click on the folder and actually place it as if you were going to place it on your actual screen. So I want this to be quite small. Of course, it is animated. You don't want it to be too distracting. So I'm going to place it just like that around here. And I'm going to bump it up a little bit, make it even smaller. So now if I go to my game scene, for example, and I wanted to add that cauldron, what I would do is just click on that plus, add a scene because we made a separate scene for the cauldron and uh, add the jar here and there it is it appears i'm even gonna get the little animation of the bits falling in and from there of course it's a full screen image what you can do is hold alt again uh, crop all the negative space not too much because remember the bits have to fall from somewhere and now you can place it wherever you want it even has a little bit of shadow underneath it all right, I'm going to play around with the colors a little bit more just to show you other examples. But there you go. This is how you can get a very, very simple animated tip jar without knowing anything about code, without touching code, just by uploading this thing. Now let's talk about the price. You can get this animated tip jar for free. It doesn't cost anything, but if you would like to support me, you can get it on Gumroad for 99 cents. So there will be a link in the description for the free version, completely free. Just download it from uh, Mediafire. And then there will be uh, gumroad.com where you can get it for 99 cents in case you want to support me. The thing is, I with my Gumroad account, I cannot upload things that are more than 25 megs and also have them free. So if I want that product on Gumroad, it has to be the minimum price, which is 99 cents. And even if you're getting the free one, please do check out gumroad.com slash get level uh, i have i do have a bunch of overlay packs there that are free and the other ones are very very cheap okay so let me know what you think in the comment section below what type of other animation would you like to see uh, uh bit jars made out of and if you're asking for like the the code the javascript code for making i'm not really interested in, in going into details into that but i can definitely make more graphics that can go on top of already existing bit jars basically <laughs> Oh, I might even make one for Christmas. What do you think? Leave your comment in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching my video. That's it for me. I will see you guys next time. Go out there, make me proud, and happy Halloween.